Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and you Unreal Engine developers know what that means. It is time for free stuff. Uh, basically, first Tuesday of every month, Epic Games gives away a number of free items, and October is no exception, which is actually really good news, uh, because there was some very, you know, nasty news this month about... Uh, uh, Unreal Engine doing some layoffs. So I didn't know if this program was going to be uh, impacted or not, uh, but it seems at least for October, we have five new free assets. And what you see in front of you, this is one of said assets. This is the uh, Gladiator Arena Environment Kit. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to create uh, an arena environment with an attic, I suppose, uh, that is what this is all about. So basically, you've got the Colosseum area around the outside. Uh, you've got a stage for fighting, you've got a place for your emperor to be thumbs up, thumbs down over here, and a bunch of other stuff going on here. Let's go quickly to the overview map and get an idea of the kind of assets included in this. Now, one very common question is, can I use these outside of Unreal Engine? And the answer is yes. Uh, generally, you can. I did a video about the legality of using uh, assets from one engine in another engine. Uh, I, I'll link that down below. I've also done a video about actually using Unreal Engine assets in other engines. I will link that down below as well if you're interested. Uh, but back to the assets itself. So this one is obviously very modular. Uh, everything you saw to make that environment is included here. Uh, yeah, so that is the first asset we've got here. It is the um, uh, Gladiator Arena Environment Kit. Now we're going to look at the next one. This is the Deep Elder Caves. By the way, I'm showing you all of these in uh, Unreal Engine 5.3. Should all work in uh, Unreal Engine 5 and above. Uh, so this one here is... Um, well, it's a cave environment. It's a very uh, mystical cave environment. Yeah, let me just go on to game mode here. You can see the results. So we have a... Uh, it looks like an AI-designed hand. AI is notoriously bad at hands. Uh, but everything to create this fantastical fairy environment is included here. Um, so if you're creating a cave game, some of the lighting effects are a little overdone, in my humble opinion, but uh, that's just me. But you can see here, quite, quite extensive. So if you're looking to create... Uh, an underground environment, once you take away some of the bloomed out lights, it actually looks really quite sharp. Let's see if there is another demo level here we can check out. So there is two overviews. No, so just that is the one demo, but pretty nice stuff. And here is everything that goes together to create it uh, in one demo level. So you've got a lot of uh, mushrooms and toadstools going on here. Uh, we have some very creepy head statues. Again, we have some uh, hands that look like they were designed by AI. Uh, then we have, by the way, I'm not accusing that of it. It's just, again, AI is notorious about being really crap at doing hands. Uh, so next up, we come here to the other overview map. And uh, I don't know if this is, this is different stuff or just portrayed differently. But you get an idea what this pack is all about. So if you're doing that kind of a fantastical underground environment, again, another very modular set going on here. Uh, and that is the Deep Elder Cave. So next up, we've got uh, Dreamscape Nature Tower. So let me go ahead and get that one opened up. And let's find the map and the demo map. All right, here we go. We actually had a previous giveaway of Dreamscape Nature stuff. Uh, so there is another one out there that looks very similar to this pack. So if you've already got that, you should be able to mesh the art styles together. So let's go over and take a look at the tower in this environment. So obviously you've got all the, the trees and rocks and such to go together to create this. But I believe the star of the show is ultimately the tower and the bridges and such. So if you're creating, a, I don't know, what would you say, Breath of the Wild? So we got a couple of towers going on over there as well. Let's speed this one up. So we got some uh, bridges with some lichen or moss on them. We've got a tower, nothing inside of the tower. Uh, we got another bridge environment over here. Uh, and then let's go check out this guy over here. And again, I don't think there's, oh yeah, no, there is an inside here. Let's turn off game mode. Like so, so here is the inside of this environment. So you got quite a bit going on here, including uh, you know wizard's desk to sit in. I uh, got some uh, chained obelisks going on. Uh, so again, it's a very stylized pack, uh, but again, we have had one from these guys in the past. So you may already have uh, an art pack from this creator. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, showcase overview of this guy. And you're gonna see all of the assets that go together to create this. So again, a variety of trees in an artistic style. Here's all the pieces that go together to create the various different bridges with some broken pieces, some complete pieces you can link together. And of course, we've got some over bridge parts there as well. Fencing, uh, again, those obelisks going on, some colorful flowers. We got some uh, libraries here for a curved tower. And speaking of towers, you have the towers over here as well. 
Uh, so that is the entirety of that pack. This was the Gladi... Oh, no, it wasn't the Gladiator pack. We already did that one. Uh, this is the Dreamscape Nature Tower Stylized Open World Environment. Uh, we have one more traditional pack to check out. That is this guy right here. This is the uh, EP Master Materials. This is a... Um, a standard material pack so it's a master material pack for you to create your own uh, PBR style uh, materials they do say this is best for like props and floors in an environment we'll just go check out the demo as you can see kind of explanations of what's going on here so example default PBR material was separated texture samplers all maps in one pack texture so the PBR with separate textures PBR with pack textures over here we have an example of default PBR materials with minimum exposed parameters so with PBR, PBR with tweaks on the right, uh, PBR without parameters on the left. Uh, so we have examples of default PBR materials with color blending masks. So left is PBR paint, PBR with color blend, and PBR three color blend with a mask. Uh, we have uh, UV tiling uh, demo here, uh, demos of detail normal with scaling controls, uh, normal generation setup. So you see here ambient occlusion, rough and metal textures in there. Uh, examples of a metallic setup so the right is a modified metallic map and color middle is mo modified metallic map and the left is the default map uh, we got a displacement setup uh, example of displacements this shader computes tessellation factors based on the distance from the camera so i guess as i get closer it will tessellate more and get more and more detail so uh, if you're looking for uh, a material setup pack that's what this one is all about parallax vertex water paint water setup so, uh, grunge wall, emissive, uh, vertex paint setup with emissive layers. That's actually kind of cool. And so on. So it is a master material pack with a number of different demos in it. Uh, so glass in there as well. Uh, could definitely be a useful pack for people to pick up. And this one is the EP Master Materials. Now, there's one other asset in here, uh, and it's this guy. Now, this one is separate because it's actually an engine plugin. Uh, so it's available over here. It is called, yeah, I'm on the wrong screen. Here we go. Uh, NPC, oops, not NOC, NPC Optimizer. Now, this isn't really that exciting to see it firsthand, but what it allows you to do is have a bunch of actors in the world. Unfortunately, there is an error in the blueprint, but I'm going to show you this guy anyway. So here we go. A map. Here is a default NPCs for the thousand actors in the world. This is using pawn class, I think. Anyway, you're going to see from running this is you're getting about uh, eight frames per second uh, with a thousand bots in the world. So uh, obviously you're, you're not going to want to do uh, that many NPCs in the world. Well, it's got this optimizer here. So here's a level three optimization demo uh, and it goes like so. And now you have a thousand NPCs in the world and you're you know hitting 60 frames per second plus. Uh, so I, I don't really know what's going on here with this, this blob. Uh, but it, it does give you an idea of the amount of speed you can get and basically have a ton of, of characters in the world. It uses algorithms to um, you know, sort by can they actually be seen or not. The different optimization levels, I do believe, will give you different uh, fidelity in movements of those NPCs when they are or aren't on screen. So once you've installed the plugin, how do you actually use this guy? Well, here is an example from the note level 2. And what you do is you add an optimization proxy to your actor. That's it. Uh, you've got uh, the distance to set, like how far off before they get pushed off into the other area. So uh, you play around with these things to get um, different control, different settings. So they'll, it'll handle them in different waves based off of where they are and how to handle them. So you will still get updates for NPCs that are off screen, but um, you know you can control uh, which wave they're in and how, how they will work. And what you saw again is allowed you to go from eight frames per second to 60 frames per second with a thousand NPCs in your scene. So this one again installs as uh, an engine plugin. It is called NPC Optimizer. And that ladies and gentlemen is this month's free content. So we'll do a quick recap here. So we got the Gladiator Arena Environment Kit. Uh, again, pretty straightforward asset for creating, um, you know, gladiator style things. We got the stylized cave environment. Uh, again, another pretty straightforward one. Um, and there, there's a lot in there. So 250 overall assets in this pack. Uh, then we've got the dreamscape stylized environment tower. Again, a reminder, check your, check your, um, horde. Uh, if you're like me and you've been buying these all the time, dreamscape stylized environment was previously available as well. So I actually already have one of these. So you probably have another one. So you'll match up the, um, 
the art style. It, it's kind of like a, a heavily saturated, semi-realistic look. Uh, so it kind of gives it that World of Warcraft vibe or maybe Breath of the Wild with a little bit more detail. I do like the style there, but obviously, unless your game's art style matches this, it's not going to be of that much use. And then we've got the EP Master Materials. So this is create any PBR material with good optimized game-ready material, uh, master material pack for walls and props with full customization at any time of development. Uh, so... Again, there is nine production-ready custom master materials in here, 80 template material instances, compact material function library, including 184 assets. Uh, and we saw a demo of what it was capable of uh, in action. So you do have these materials that you can then modify and use in your own way. A ton of uh, functionality in there. Uh, it's probably the most universally useful thing in this pack. And then we again have the NPC optimizer. So automatic NPC optimization component for your game, as you saw, it installs as an NPC, uh, sorry, as an engine plugin. Uh, and it allows you to op um, optimize the NPCs based off character and pawn classes automatically. Again, all you really have to do is add this optimization proxy uh, to your characters and configure a few settings and you are good to go. Uh, it's fully written in C++ and it works theoretically, on all platforms. So uh, that is this month's free content. Again, the way that this works is add it to your cart, check out, uh, and as long as you purchase it, air quotes, because it will be free, before the first Tuesday of uh, next month, uh, it is yours to keep forever. You can find these assets in the free, free for the month category. Uh, now I'm recording this in advance, so what you're seeing is last month's stuff here. Uh, actually, you're seeing something completely weird. I'm not sure what, what part I got there, but uh, so this was last month's stuff. This, it'll be updated when this video goes up. You'll see all of the content we just saw. But again, quick recap, we got the Gladiator Arena environment, the Deep Elder Caves environment, the Dreamscape Stylized Tower environment, the EP Master Materials, and then, of course, we got the uh, engine plugin, the uh, NPC Optimizer. Uh, it's an interesting uh, roundup. Oh, by the way, they do, they do have a ton of free stuff here as well in the permanently free collection. So if you are looking for uh, assets and you're thinking about maybe using Unreal Engine down the road, just keep hoarding this stuff. It is completely free. And hopefully they do keep uh, happening. Again, there was tragically some layoffs at Epic Games earlier this week. So uh, it doesn't appear to have impacted it. And hopefully it doesn't going forward. But this month, we definitely got some new free stuff. I'm curious what you think of this month's collection. Let me know. Comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.